there are a variety of open source cloud platforms or consortiums. I mean, there, there's there's OpenStack, there's, there's CloudStack, there's, there's Open Nebula. I mean, is there is there a reason for a company that's out there exploring to to align with, with one or, or the other? I mean, uh, Martin, you, well, well, I mean, I, I sense you might have a vested interest in this, but what why why would someone w want to align with one? Or, or first of all, why are there so many? And uh, is is there a good reason to align with one or the other? I think there are so many because it's such a massive business opportunity and there's a ton of smart engineers out there who all would like to create their own. And yes, they do differ from each other and it's all about what you need. Um, if you need to go live and go production very quickly, if you need to manage your cloud without an army of people uh, taking care of it all the time, and if you need to be compatible with Amazon as a cloud, then I have the perfect private cloud software for you, and it's called Eucalyptus. <laughs> but I also have huge respect for OpenStack, Open Nebula, CloudStack. Uh, they have their own value propositions and their own priorities that they are following. So I think it's up to, to you as a user to decide what's important to you. Peter, I mean, is there, I guess it's, it's, it's a similar question. I mean, is, you know, the four of you, in a sense, do compete. Is there, is there one reason to, to go with with one vendor or another, I mean, what what is it that sets sets you guys apart, considering there's these different platforms and what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, what? I I think at the end of the day, it's going to be important for uh, whoever is going to be managing this stuff and using this stuff to be comfortable with it. And the good news about um, open source platforms is the fact that you can go download the code for free, you can engage with the community for free, you can try it out for free, um, and and you have a good opportunity to really see which one. Um, uh, fits your specific need. You know, as, as Martin mentioned, he's got a great relationship with Amazon. Uh, that might be something that, that is um, uh, extremely critical for you uh, within your organization. In the OpenStack world, there are many, many IT vendors that have, have supported the platform and, you know, there, there's options to, to um, uh, see that that, might, that relationship might be the best opportunity for you. We like to think um, with CloudStack that we've seen some fairly significant successes at all different uh, types of companies. Um, running production workloads today. So where where one might have a great Amazon relationship, one might have a great uh, IT ecosystem, we've got a great user ecosystem. And uh, many companies, like even today, Disney is sharing at um, one of the local conferences how they set up and run some of their public services based on top of CloudStack. And that's, that's where I think we have the value is people who have gone before you uh, can help you get to production a lot faster. But I do think at the end of the day, um, you know, four great projects, uh, easily accessible code, get engaged and see which one seems to work best for your organization is probably going to be the most important thing for you. De Devin, why, why would a company that's out there shopping around, why would they you know, cho choose Nebula over, over one of that many other great offerings? Yeah, like they said, there's a, there's a huge business opportunity in this space. There's a number of different platforms out there. Um, and for us, you know, the value proposition we bring is you can buy a private cloud with OpenStack and Amazon APIs and be up and running very, very quickly with a secure environment, uh, with a great uh, ecosystem around and partners. Uh, as, as far as OpenStack itself, I mean, there's a, there's a number of ways to get started with that. Uh, one of the great things OpenStack has going for it is the amazing amount of companies and users and developers that have rallied around it in the past few years. So uh, for, for such a young project, you know, we have... Uh, an amazing amount of momentum, uh, an amazing amount of, uh, we're starting to see a, a lot of adoption at this point, especially in the enterprise. And, uh, you know, you, you, it's hard to go a week without hearing a, a, a new story about, about someone uh, in the large, a large enterprise to deploying OpenStack at this point. So uh, there's a lot of momentum there, and uh, <clears throat> I think it'll keep going. <laughs> Gordon, why, why, why Red Hat? Why, why your camp as opposed to those other, those other yeah. camps out there? It's a lot of camps, a lot of confusion. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I, I probably disagree slightly with one statement that you made, was you know, why are there so many of them? Good. Uh, yes. I, w I would actually argue that this space has coalesced more quickly than I might have predicted that it would uh, couple, three years ago, uh, because you know, I, th I think a lot of it's really being driven by the you know, kind of the developer community and the fact that there has been a coalescing of uh, you know, kind of developer focus, company focus around, I, I would argue, actually a relatively 
small number of projects here. And you know, in ter yeah, I would sort of echo everything Devin said about OpenStack broadly. I, I think that it's arguably less mature than some of the other offerings you can purchase today. However, there's, in fact, if you look at kind of what's happened in the last 18 months, there's actually been an incredible amount of advancement there and uh, an enormous pace of change. And I think that pace of change can make things look a little bit messy today. But, you know, this ultimately is about developer communities and user communities and, you know, kind of where the biggest throw weight is. And I, I would argue that. OpenStack is is really on is kind of on the strongest trajectory there, and you know what? Why Red Hat? Well, we have a broad portfolio of cloud products, you know, beyond infrastructure as a service, and we just have a lot of um, experience in doing this kind of thing. 